I missed my train. If you are a college student and you are moving out, please come to Walmart. Come to Walmart. And you know what's so crazy? I was literally here earlier and I thought I found a storage place that provided boxes, but they were just like really sketchy, so I had to come back. And they have these for like $2. And they're really big, so I think I'm just gonna get like, probably, I don't know, these are really big. I was gonna get like 10, you know, just to be on the safe side, because I'm really not trying to come back and do any of this again, so. So for a total of 10 boxes and one thing of tape, it came up to $25.90. So these are all the boxes I got. And I got just one tape. Honestly, I think it's worth the price. Yes, man. I'm literally so excited to be leaving. Like, I don't think I understand. Like, this was really the most stressful part of everything because I needed boxes. And I was gonna get plastic boxes at first, but I forgot that like they literally have like cardboard moving boxes so, so it's just like i might as well just use those so i'm really excited to pack up all my stuff go see my family go see my boyfriend go see my friends like i just really been looking forward to this like for mad long I already packed up my suitcase so all i have to do is literally just like pack up all the stuff that i'm not taking with me and i have a storage unit that i will be using bonjour mademoiselle well so i don't want to i don't want to show y'all my embarrassingly messy room but as you can tell we packing, <laughs> we packing. So I already started with one box. So this is my first box. And I just put all my my children, my babies, my stuffed animals, except Princess Kitty. She's still she's still here. She's the biggest one. So I have to have like a certain box for her. I actually think I'm gonna um take this tapestry down um and the lights too and the lights all around and probably just put that in that box too.
Today's May 15th and it's the day before I leave. And literally this morning when I woke up, I just had a breakdown because like, who knew that moving out and moving boxes was gonna be so fucking stressful. Um, right now I'm getting ready, I'm about to leave. Um, and as you can see, like everything's already like pretty much like packed up. I literally finished packing everything up on Saturday. So yesterday I could just worry about getting in my final paper and then today, um, after I drop those boxes off, I'm gonna study for my um, anatomy final. I know I haven't really um, been recording like all the processes and stuff, but I've just been really busy, um, really stressed, really swamped. But I'm gonna show you guys how it looks, like how the room looks right now, cause my roommate already left. I don't mind the mess on my bed, but for me like that's like my side, as you can tell, like all the decorations are down. It, it literally looks like how um, it looked when I first came in. And then this was my old roommate's side. Working on the weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hits the block or my tape it was us. Tired is not even a word. Hot. It's not even a word. I'm tired, bro. I'm mad tired, like, bro. Like, I have two more boxes. Well, three. Two more boxes. A bin. And... It just felt like a blue Gatorade day. Well, y'all don't know this, but I used to have a really bad obsession with blue Gatorade. So now when I drink it, sometimes it makes my stomach hurt. For me, I got the Uber and I got a couple cookies. Um, so now I'm just waiting to um, now I'm just waiting for the Uber to pull up so I could pack all this shit and I could just get this shit out the way because I got to study. Make sure y'all know what y'all getting y'all stuff into. Moving out is not, bro, that shit is like, if I had to rate difficulty, like eight out of 10. Eight out of fucking 10. Like, especially when you're doing this shit, don't leave. If you could find friends who can help you, you have a boyfriend up at school that can help you, do that. Got some guy friends, you know, that can help you, do that. Because bro, moving all this shit by yourself is not vibey. Hey, so Hey guys, good morning. So it's Tuesday, May 16th, the day I leave. And right now, as you can tell, let me show y'all the fit. So I'm just wearing a hoodie with some volleyball shorts, you know, something calm. But I'm about to go take my anatomy test right now. It starts in like an hour, literally. Yesterday was my last night, so this today's my last day. And honestly, it's bittersweet, but then again, I'm kind of looking forward to going back home and enjoying my summer you know, without academic stress. <laughs> Everything is pretty much, like for me, room is pretty dead, cleaned up everything. My suitcase right there on the floor. And I just got a whole bunch of like, face products and stuff that I, you know, I still needed. Um, I'm not prepared for this and I mean, final work at all. But honestly, fuck it, we're gonna get shit done. We're gonna get it done. And um, we're gonna try, I'm gonna try the best I can. I wanna stop by Jamba Juice because I'm actually like hungry. I wanna get my first meal and um, some meal. Hey, hey, you know, I got a cop up on the pure leaves for the road. I will not be on that train starving for my life. school because uh, drum roll please i missed my train it's okay because i'm leaving tomorrow at the same time so right now currently since i since i turn in my key 
I don't have access to the room anymore. I couldn't, I can't go back in. I wasn't gonna ask anybody, hey, like, no, like, it's not that deep. For me, I could sleep anywhere as long as I have a blanket, which I do. I'm sleeping in my old dorm lounge. Like, I'm still in Richmond right now, but I'm just, sleep I'm just sleeping in the lounge because, you know, like, they have couches and stuff. And it's not bad, it's not too bad. You know, of course I'm sad because I was I was looking forward to seeing my boyfriend. Hey guys, okay, so it's the next day and I'm at the train station. Um, I didn't get to record in the Uber because I was talking to my Uber driver like literally the whole time. But he was really nice, so you know I really appreciated that. But yeah, I'm at the um I'm at the station right now. Um right now it's eleven like about eleven twenty. My train doesn't leave until twelve thirty five. So I really was not playing. I was like, I'm not missing this train again. I came early as hell. I ate breakfast. I ate pancakes for breakfast. Um, I didn't want to eat too much because I really was not even that hungry. Like, I just want to go home. Hey, niggas ain't got respect. Niggas just got itself. I put that top left. I love my cardio death. I put it on the I put some ice on my head. I let it take in advance. She wasn't going to plan. I put a shit in the plan. I'm about like four hours deep, like four hours into the trip, about like three four hours. Um, and right now it's five thirty, so it's like four more hours until like I actually get to the Penn Station. But I'm tired. No, I'm not even tired. My back hurts, like really, really bad. Like, my back hurts. I haven't slept in a comfortable bed in days. And I'm just, I'm, I'm over it. I want to be off this, this train. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the next station stop. It's Schenectady. Schenectady, next station stop. Please exit. Schenectady. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I safely reached to Penn Station. And let me show y'all what I'm looking at right now. So this is the train I'm getting on, the 952 Long Beach. So right now it's 924. So I have like uh, 30 minutes. So I'm just going to chill wait for them to drop the track number which i don't know why they be dropping it like mad last minute like i don't that be giving me mad like i have to i have to usher on this big ass fucking suitcase and they be telling the track number like two minutes before the the train leaves the, the railroad whatever the fuck leaves like hey guys so it's the next day and right now it's like 5 p.m um i just finished them packing i'm gonna show you guys like my setup so, you know, ring light, obviously, you gotta be right here because it's right in front of the mirror. But um, this is the ring light, and then I just hung some bags up, um, and then that's some um, Frank the Fork. Um, and then these are all my, like, you know, skincare, perfume, whatever. And that's, like, some hair stuff, and I have some shoes down there. And then I have more bags hanging up here like this, you know, just cute. And I put my shoes up here because it just made more sense. And here are some clothes if you guys can like see, but these are some clothes folded up. I hung up like, you know, a dress and like a sweater, you know, just little things. So that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn my post notifications on, and I'll see you guys next vlog. Bye! Nah, this shit like 44 bars, and I need like 44 cars. Smoking on Zog on trip to Mars. Beat by laps, you know he a star. So bro, we making it far. So bae, the future is ours. Move like Simba, ain't stressing no scars. Niggas don't smoke like they holding cigars. Young and I'm turn, bitch, I'm feeling like Ma. Like